What's up guys, my name is Sensor Turley and in this video I'm just going to be talking about the multi-tool slash gun slash laser slash weapon slash whatever you want to call it in No Man's Sky. So this is, it's so cool that this game, there's actually a full combat system and a, like a mining system, resource system and it's just crazy. I, I can't believe there's so much in one game. It's just incredible stuff when you start thinking about it. But, okay, so your multi-tool, we've actually seen some more gameplay with it here recently where you, there's actually, like, upgrades, you know, you upgrade your multi-tool and stuff to where you can, like, mine certain rocks and certain things and you can, there's the whole deformation system and that's how you deform the terrain is with your multi-tool. So, there's like all different levels of how much it deforms the terrain and and like all these different things you can upgrade and stuff to your multi-tool. But it's pretty interesting when you think about like we've seen all different kinds of like just straight laser beams. We've seen like more of a more of like a plasma, like a big almost like a just a big plasma blast almost kind of laser type thing. And it's just crazy. I, I'm not sure how all of the how the different colors of the lasers are going to work and the all this different stuff it's cool because you could almost like completely customize your weapon pretty much so uh, but your multi-tool is like what you use for everything it, you don't have hands really it's just uh you have your multi-tool so well i guess you have a hand to hold your multi-tool but you know what i'm saying you know so uh <laughs> it's so that's what you're pretty much using but i'm interested in like how how like can you put a scope on this beast or is it is there a drop to it over like a super far distance I, I wouldn't think so it's a laser but does it take it like a second to get to a creature that's like really far away or something like that there's all these questions i have that there's just so much to a game like this that there's endless questions you just it's crazy man like you can't there's no way to even like answer all your questions, even if you were talking straight to the developer. It would take you like five years to answer all your questions, you know. So, uh, but it's crazy, man, because it's cool that you can upgrade it and everything because it gives you a reason to go out there and mine more and more resources and stuff. But apparently, you can just like find stuff too, uh, just find like objects and everything. It's got a full inventory system, and and you know you fully can like just upgrade your you can like put a certain upgrade on a multi-tool and it'll do this special thing like like I was saying you could uh like destroy a certain kind of rock now and get a certain resource from that rock and stuff like that so um but yeah it's just crazy like I don't know how much is there like varying damages to these weapons uh like you know if you just start out with a little pea shooter that takes you know five shots to kill a little baby little butterfly or something or or and then you like, you know, way down the line, you get like a rocket launcher version of it. Like what? I, I, it's just crazy. I think there's so much hidden in this game that we don't even, we've not even seen yet. Like you could have like a more of a sniper rifle kind of version of it or more of a just straight up, just like really quick handy version of it or more like, like I was saying, the rocket launcher version of it or more like a full auto type version of it. You could have all different kinds of versions, but it's not going to look like, I know for a fact it's not going to look like a sniper rifle or a rocket launcher or anything like that. It's going to keep its standard look like a kind of a laser, just space kind of weapon. So that's really cool. But uh, yeah, you have all of that. And I don't know. There's no telling what you can do with a multi-tool. I mean, we've seen where you can just deform the terrain, and uh, there's no telling if you can, what all, what the heck all you can do, man. I mean, uh, it's just crazy when you think about it all. But, yeah, so that's pretty much the multi-tool. Uh, not a whole lot to it. It's There's just a ton of different upgrades that you could possibly do to it. That That's what's crazy. Like, there's so much hidden in this game to where, it's not going to be just like out there for you to, it's not like, okay, here's your upgrade, get to this level and you upgrade your gun like this and get to this level and you get this upgrade for this gun. It's like, you almost have to like discover things for yourself to figure out, you know, you would have, might have to mix this thing to make that thing. And then you have this upgrade to this gun and, uh, or this multi-tool and certain multi-tools you could only buy at this certain space station, something crazy like that. So there's just so many different levels, leveling, like, no, not levels, you're not actually, like, leveling up in this game, but there's, like, so many uh, layers to it, I should say, that's a better word for it, uh, there's so many layers to this game where it's, 
you're like finding things and but you're also building things and you're combining things and making other things and uh underwater i don't know how a multi-tool is going to work underwater if it's going to be any different or or how that's going to work exactly but uh or or can you just land on top of a space station and just get out or like just land on an asteroid and just get out and start shooting your your multi-tool at, at ships? Is that possible? Can you shoot it at a ship? If you're on the ground with your multi-tool, can you shoot up at a ship that's flying just way, way above you or something like that? I'm not really sure how all that works either. So that's kind of interesting to think about. But um, but yeah, so multi-tool, man, uh, just a whole nother aspect to it. It just goes to show you that this is not just a walk around and just look at everything like you're in full combat, full I mean, you're totally interactive with everything on each one of these planets. So, um, and what may not be on a planet, uh, if you're getting what I'm saying there, boys, like you may be, uh, totally fighting something out in space. Like it's not even a planet. It's just like a, just a wad of asteroids pounded together. And there's some kind of crazy alien creature on it that you're trying to kill. So you got to go land on the asteroid. I can just picture crazy stuff like that, that none of us expected to be in the game and it's in there. So Anyway, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys, and I appreciate all you guys watching. Thanks.